You're watching Global Toronto. This is Global News at 5.30. Contract voting is underway tonight in the longest college strike in Ontario history. And depending on the outcome, classes could resume next week. But already, many students feel like they're running out of time and money. Live to Shalima Maharaj. Shalima, this strike has been costly in more ways than one. Absolutely. For a number of students, it's not only an investment of their time, it's an investment of their money. We're here at Centennial College where I'm going to step out of the way here for you to see there's still a lot of workers here on the picket line. It's been about a month since Ontario College faculty workers first went on strike. And for students, it's been incredibly frustrating these last few weeks trying to figure out when their school year would resume and what it would look like once it does. Thomas Barkley is enrolled in the Arboriculture program at Fleming College in Lindsay. We saved for about a year or so, and then we got married in August, and uh, you know we took a lot of the money that we got from our wedding, put it into tuition, and then I went. Things were going fine. There's a mandatory co-op semester during the summer, and students have to pay a fee to take part, more than $500. Running low on cash, the 25-year-old decided against returning to class. I contacted faculty, my coordinator, and they basically said, you know, it'd be really good if you could come back, you know, do everything you can. Uh, so I took out another loan. Um, and went further into debt. Barclay is among 500,000 Ontario college students facing uncertainty. We're not getting what we paid for. They basically defrauded 500,000 students out of their tuition. The province is under scrutiny for not intervening sooner. You can't just introduce back to work legislation because you want the strike and you have to meet a certain threshold and uh, we're not there. It's been 30 days since college faculty hit the picket line. I am extremely disappointed that the two sides have failed to reach an agreement. I am extremely disappointed and students are paying the price. On Friday, the province ordered colleges to create a fund to support students who faced financial hardships because of the strike. Any net savings that the colleges have as a result of the strike will be reinvested into students. That's a very important um, a uh, very important move. Obviously, they're going to do something with this fund and, you know, maybe give some relief to the students, but I doubt it'll be enough. You'd rather have your money back? I'd rather have my money back, for sure. And another development in this story, a proposed class action lawsuit was launched on behalf of students who've been affected by the strike. Now, the firm Charney Lawyers filed the notice of action against Ontario's 24 colleges, and there are 14 students from different schools who have been listed as potential plaintiffs. Now, I spoke with Ted Charney not too long ago, and he says that he expects that more students will be coming forward. The notice alleges the schools breached contracts with the students by failing to provide the training that was agreed to. It looks for full refunds for students who choose not to continue with their programming and partial refunds for those who do wish to continue. It's back to you in studio. All right, Shalima, thank you so much.